Hey everyone, Necroveria is back with another episode of Mist 3 Exile. If you remember the last episode, we ended up here on the Amateria world, or Amateria Age, I guess I should say. And we are going to start solving some of these puzzles, because if you remember in the first episode... Sorry, no, the second episode. Yeah, the last, just this last episode. Um, the guy, Savidro, Savidro, told us that these are lesson worlds. So obviously we're here to learn stuff. And we're gonna go back here, start with this puzzle. Cause this one, it was the first one I saw, so it's, I'm assuming it's the easiest one. I hope so. We found, remember we found a page right there. So can we shut that? Nope. Well, I guess it shuts by itself. So can we pull this lever? Does this work? Yes, it does. Okay, so that brings us up and it looks like we have this? Oh, what are these? What do these do? Oh. Okay, so that doesn't help. Uh, I don't know what that's for, so... What if I hit this button? What does that do? Oh, what did I do? Oh! Okay, so that obviously didn't work. So it looks like, so those aren't rails like I thought they were. Those are not train rails. Those, oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's like that, that it creates a ball, it looks like. And it comes down the rail, it comes this way. And then it, I don't know what my end goal is. Uh, I don't see any way out of this place. So these, I'm guessing, go in these indicator spots. I guess okay um so what if we put I don't know I didn't look at this really I'm sorry oh uh, what if we do this I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here and what my end goal is so that'll create another one that'll come down there and then that'll come here okay so there's the light and it looks like I need it to get... And it stops there. Oh, and it launches it. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, so... I'm guessing it needs to... goes into there and then it needs to go... Well, what the heck is my end goal here? What am I trying to accomplish? Let me go back down for a second. Let me get a... Can I get a better look at that on the way down? Oh, there's the exit rail right there, it looks like. So that's an exit rail, I'm guessing, because that looks like it comes in on that rail. Let's go back up for a second. It doesn't really give me a good look at stuff, does it? No, it does not. Okay, so that's where it looks like I'm trying to go. No, that's where it comes in from. And I'm trying to get over there. So... That's why that one's blocked off. Because that'll turn once. Okay, I see what's going on here. So now I need it to get... A three of these things. So I need to get it over to this one, which is right here. Okay. Alright, this is big brain time. i got to think this one out. So if I launch it, if it comes over, and then I launch it... Can I move it once? And then that'll go over there. And then... Um... Okay, so let's try this. So let's do it once here. This is taking a lot of brain power. And then I'll move it once and then it'll launch in this way. And it'll come over there. And then I don't know which way this one turns. So I'm assuming they turn the same way. So... One, two, three, four, four, I guess. So it'll come in there and one, two, three, four is there. And then that'll bring it back over here. 
and then one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Well, that doesn't help me. Okay, so what does this do? Hold on, let me see what this does. I need, there's one more red thing, so I'm guessing that I have to use that one as well. So that'll launch it over, okay, and then it goes, that goes the other way. Okay, that rotates the other way. Well, that sucked. Okay. Huh. Okay, then. So, we know that this one is... Ah, uh, hold on a second now. So, if that one goes this way, and then this one goes... This way. So if we do it like this, we go, uh, uh. What does that do? Yes, you are going to see this animation a lot, I'm sorry. I think it just adds to the nostalgia of my game, though. That ball's a lot bigger in real life. My guess. So that's going to kick that notch over. It's going to jump it. Yep. And then it's gonna go... Did I do it? No. Oh, it just dunks it. Well, that doesn't help much now, does it? So they kind of make this difficult, don't they? Okay, just big brain time. Hang on. I know what I'm doing now. So, this one was here, this one was here, and this one should be here. Two, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. This is it. This has to be it. Do it! Last attempt. Zero deaths. I still think that's pretty cool, honestly. I mean, that's a pretty neat concept to just create material out of nowhere. Okay, so it'll jump the first one. And it'll go one, two, three, and then stop on the fourth one, yep. Okay, and then it'll come one more and jump it, and it should go dunk. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I'm back inside the house. Oh. Oh, cool. Uh, what does that mean? Oh! So that's, that's something. Screenshot that. Okay. So it looks like we finished the first puzzle. Oh, how do I get off of here? Oh, lever. And then it showed us an image of a bridge coming up. Which my assumption is, of course, that's going to bring us right back to the beginning of this area because I saw those bridges off to the distance and then it gave us like a hexadecimal pattern. I mean, everything in here is hex. Everything here is a hex. Hex a, hex a gone. Ooh, thunder, yay. God, I love these stones. These things are so cool. Okay, so let's go back up here and this is what it showed me. So I'm assuming then... This is what I need. So let me take a look back at that picture here real quick. Hold on a second. All right, so it looks like what I have there, and I don't know if I overlaid it on the screen somewhere, but it's da, 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 nope, like this, and then on the edges. Maybe not, that didn't do anything. Oh, that did do something, Never mind. Oh, okay. So I said exit out of it, okay. That didn't do anything with that though. Oh. Oh, can I not? Oh, it doesn't keep it. Okay. So maybe I need to get all three codes to get up there to something. I don't know. Maybe? Okay. Well, there's one puzzle done at least. Um, okay. Let's go back this way. And then we'll go to the... We'll go to the second puzzle, I guess.
So the second puzzle we have here is this... Wow, these stones are so cool. Is this, this weird resonance puzzle or like force field puzzle. There's a sound with it and it vibrates. You can see right there. So this must mean something. And there was... I wonder if... Hold on, let me turn around. Was there... There's a walkway over here. Okay, so it looks like... The couple that we have here have indicators, and there's pictures on them. Let me check that picture. Hang on. I'm going to take a picture of that because these these look like some kind of puzzle pieces of some sort. And if we go back... Uh, was it... Which way was it? Was it this way? There's a little thing over there. So let's go this way. And it's through the cage. And there was, um, I don't remember where it was. I think it was this way. If I just keep going. Yeah, there's the rock platform here. We climb up that, and that brings us over here. If you hear that explosion, it is still the 4th of July. My apologies. Um, oh, there's a lever here. Let's pull that lever. Okay, so this will raise us up. So this must be some kind of sound puzzle or something, I'm guessing. Ooh. Um, what does this do? Weird. What does that do? Oh! Okay, so these are all ball puzzles. So that got shredded immediately. So, how am I supposed to know? Oh, wait a second. Are these all different? Are these? Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a picture of this as well. I'm wondering, and then what do these buttons do? Okay, so it turns those things off. So I guess you can identify them. So this one is down. So let's... Okay, so let's go back down. And then, so if this is down, then what's in this one? This is the one next to it. So the ball comes in... I guess this way? And it goes to the first one. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, so that's the first one. Is that the first one it goes through? And then which one's this one? This one's that one. God, this is confusing. Okay. I don't have a piece of paper either, which sucks, so I'm going to use an envelope to write stuff on. Five, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think that helps out. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I think I need, I, I need to match up the resonances with these pieces, because these pieces look like they each have a different, uh, well, the, the shapes here look like the shapes we saw in that other picture. So this is gonna require me to jump back and forth between f pictures to understand what I'm doing here, but I think I understand what I have to do. Okay, so we need... Uh, let's go this way. Okay, so according to our research, according to how everything lines up, the let's start from ooh, okay, let's start this way. This is number th three. Okay, so let me look at this. If these are in order, this is correct. If these are in order as the other place, that's correct. Okay. So, I think that's correct. I'm not sure. So, let's go back to the main area. So, this one was number three. The next one, this should be number one. That's 
correct as well. Okay, maybe this, maybe I'm misinterpreting this. Okay, let me go back this way. Okay, this one is number five. Let's go here. That is also correct. But that doesn't make sense because that that shreds that immediately. Let's go back this way. That shreds that as soon as it tries to hit that portal. So then this would be number two. Yeah, weird. Okay, something's not right here. And then this is number four, right? Yep, okay, so these are all pointed there already, so that's not the solution. Okay, that's not the solution. So that doesn't really help me much now, does it? Okay, hang on a second here now. Is there something I'm missing? Something I'm not seeing here? Is there something that gives me like a different view on it? Let's go back underneath it. Maybe there's something underneath it that I didn't see. Let's go back down here and see. So this goes to the four areas. What is the end goal here? Ooh, that's trippy. So the end goal would be to send it off this way, huh? Okay. Okay, hold on, I think I see something. I think I can do something here. So let me follow this up and let me just do it in order. So this, even though it's number five, this should be number one. Right? Ooh, that changes that force field. So maybe this, maybe they just have to go in order. So let's follow the track and maybe that's what we have to do. So it's going to go this way and head up this way. And this should be number two. Okay. And then that comes back up this way and travels along here. And then this is, should be number three guessing on this. I don't even know if this is the answer or not. I'm assuming we're missing a part of this puzzle somehow. Uh, and then this goes this way. It looks like it banks this way. Was that last number three? So this would be number four. Four. And then the final one, which would lead it out that way. Okay, yeah. I think I'm onto something here. That looks really cool, by the way. Four, and then this should be number five. Okay. Let's see if that changes anything. I'm, I think, I mean, it makes sense that the ball would have to follow a specific order and the markers that are set up there aren't, aren't necessarily the right ones. They match up to the numbers, but they're all wrong because it's shredded on the first one. So that's something I can really think of unless I'm missing another piece of the puzzle. So let's get back up there. Okay, and let's hit this and maybe that's it. So it'll hit the first one. Okay, it made it. I think we figured it out. That wasn't that hard. There it goes. Okay, yeah, that wasn't that bad. Some reason I remember this being a lot harder than this. The first puzzle kind of sucked. There we go, cool. So that pulls up the last one, so that doesn't really... I guess that doesn't really help me because I need that middle one still. Oh, um, let's screenshot that. There we go. All right, well, I think I've taken enough time trying to solve these puzzles. That was fun, don't get me wrong. That was a lot easier than 
And I remember these being... I think this world was like the Celentic Age to me when I first played this game. It was just difficult. But these don't... These aren't that really difficult of logic puzzles. So I'm going to end this episode here. And then in the last episode, we're going to take care of that last puzzle, which... If these two are this easy... Well, I should say easy for that first one. But if, if they make this much sense, that one shouldn't be that hard. So without further ado, I hope you all had a wonderful time. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye